everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily card reading for November 7th, 2021. AngelSouls444.com for personal readings, and we can do Akashic Records readings as well for you. And, uh, no, what, what am I saying? Gumroad. What did we not talk about yet? Gumroad. <laughs> Gumroad.com slash Angel Souls for meditation challenges for you to connect to Archangelic Energy, have an angel encounter, uh, and be working... Oh, Lord, what, are we, what is happening? To be working with the energy that comes through. There's all kinds of things going on. So I guess we're getting more than one card today. All right, so first we have peace. Archangel Azrael. Azrael is all about transformation. We've been saying this entire week, you're not taking it anymore, okay? You're not taking it anymore. And you're taking a leap. You're walking away from something. Okay, hang with me. So peace, Archangel Azrael. Release the past. There is more enriching... Uh, Excuse me. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. You're free. You are absolutely free because we have Leap of Faith, which is the Fool card here. Archangel Metatron. So Metatron is all about the Akashic Records and helping you understand your place in this universe. And Metatron, in my mind at least, is all about... <laughs> Oh God, this is a terrible way to put this. Metatron to me is sort of like a video game, right? Where you have to unlock, like you learn your lessons and then you get to unlock the next level. That's not actually what Metatron does, but my brain, what are you going to do? Um, but that's kind of like you finally uh, finished out, what am I doing? <laughs> finished out one uh, lesson here and it says, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. You don't have to be locked up anymore by people's perceptions of you, um, the troublemakers that just feed off of your pain. And so they come and they cause the pain because they just love it, right? Um, I, like for me, I've had a lot of patterns where anywhere I go, it does not matter what I'm doing. If I just come in, I'm like, do, 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 just mind my business. Somebody comes and says, there's all these stories about you. I've shared this before, but I literally worked at a place where there was something happening where one person was leaving, another person was coming in. I went to go in and talk about, okay, what's my position in this company? Boom, drama. There had been this whole, there's so much more to this that nobody ever bothered to tell me. And you know what? Let it come back to them times 10 for keeping it secret because that caused me a lot of pain and fear. Like I had no idea what was going on. But um, yeah, there was this whole narrative that was made up about me and people were so quick to gobble that up because it fed them well. Oh yes, this was their favorite snack. That's some cluster B stuff, I think. But listen, you don't have to put up with it. You can release yourself. And then we have five of Gabriel here. Uh, a challenge you can, ooh, there was my Northern Ohio <laughs> coming out. Challenge, <laughs> a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. See, there you go. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So here you go, you're not messing. You're not messing. You're like, you know what? You do that. You, you're going to be toxic. You're going to be nasty. You're just going around causing people pain just because it's not your drama. Okay. And th there is something, it's not just as easy as like, oh, let go of the drama and move on. Because sometimes you could be in a situation where it's, you know, I talk about collective abuse and scapegoating. It can be such Oh, like again, that work situation, it, there were so many people involved that like my truth in that got just kind of dissipated <laughs> and scattered to the wind. Like nobody cared. And I finally just gave up. And in that situation, anytime somebody felt like they were losing ground, it didn't even have anything to do with me. If they were just losing ground in whatever situation in their life, they would throw this at me again to diminish me. And... I know if you've lived a very charmed life where nobody's ever messed with you like that, God bless you. But please do not be one of those people that says, nobody does that. Stop. Okay. Just because it's not your situation doesn't mean it can't be anyone's situation. But the whole message today is really finding your power and your strength. You might be cutting ties with a very toxic situation or a toxic person and just moving on and not looking back. So... Good luck. <laughs> All right, I'm sending you all so much love and take care.